growth video. So let's talk a little bit about direction change. So I figured it was about time that we dived a little deeper into direction change. So today we're going over five basic direction changes in your footwork. So I wanted to give you guys just the basic ones today. And if you want more intermediate, advanced ones, etc., there's definitely lots out there as well as traveling footwork. If you want tutorials on that, comment down below, let me know. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number one, six step CC six step. As a lot of you know, this is one of my favorites personally to direction change in footwork. So of course it's where we're gonna start because it's my foundation. So we're gonna start in a squat, position zero, hand comes down, opposite leg sweep. So always make sure you're sweeping into your CCs as always. One handed CC, then you're gonna step back in, one, two, then you're gonna hook, step back, six step, hit a wall, because why not? Then the opposite leg again. CC and squat. So the main thing to remember is always the opposite leg as hand that's gonna come out first. So your opposite leg's gonna sweep, then you're gonna six step, then your opposite leg again, because your left hand's down, so your right leg's gonna go into your CC, and then you're gonna squat. And CC, CC, CC. So the big things to remember here is don't hop on your CCs, make sure it's always a CC step step and then whenever you're sweeping this is your power leg so always make sure that you're leaning your weight onto your front arm and you're kicking that leg which is your power leg as I just explained as hard as you can going boom 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 CC CC Two is your one step monkey swing six step, which kind of teaches you how to combine a couple different steps and it also gives you the base to get into anything you want to get into. So again, we're gonna start at position zero, sweeping your leg, coffee ground your first, then you're gonna hit your hook and you're gonna go six step back and then right here, you're gonna sweep that leg, but as you get to the front, you're doing a monkey swing, which means as it hits center, you're switching your hands and your opposite leg's gonna come out, then you're gonna coffee ground it the other way and you're going hook, back, center, cross, hook, squat, and again, monkey swing, switch, coffee grinder, six step, monkey swing, coffee grinder, six step, monkey swing, coffee grinder, six step, yay. So again, the two biggest key points here is leaning your weight on your arm for that coffee grinder, right here, and sweeping that leg as hard as you can. And the rest is pretty simple because you're going lean, step, 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 sweep, which is again that lean right here, right? And then as you're sweeping, leaning again. So making sure that your leans are really solid, your sweeps are coming again from diagonal back to front, and you're kicking that leg strong. So making sure that you're not hopping here, this is all quick, close to the ground, unless you're doing a hopping style but that's another video. Number three is your six step up and down. This is again just the base of what will eventually become more and more advanced movements, but if you don't understand this basic one, the advanced ones won't come so easily to you. So again, you're starting position zero, sweeping, one, two, three, cross, right here is where it changes, you go up, step, prep, back down, around, center, and up, step, back down, and just start cycling that quicker. So making sure you're leaning your weight to that side foot, so when you go back down, it has a nice transfer of power. So you're going, hit, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you don't change your weight right there onto that foot, it's one, going to make it harder to go right back down and change your momentum, but it's also going to be a lot easier for people to see your direction change. Because making it, oh, obvious that you're stopping and you're going the other way. So we're switching the front, we're switching the side, but we haven't switched in the back. So this time we're gonna go six step to a back hook. So you're going basic six step, but you're gonna hook here. Again, stopping your momentum like we did up top, but then you're gonna go back the other direction. Like that, and then you're gonna go all the way around to this side, hook. 
So this is your stopping point then. Step in back. The best way to get to the side nails and hair by car is via Trans-Canada Highway British Columbia 1 West and will take about 32 minutes in moderate traffic. I've sent the directions to your phone. I should like stop being invaded by the government. Hook, back, and hook. And around, six step, and hit. And around, one, two, three, four, five, hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, and hit. Boom, easiest one probably. But again, there's so much you can do with it and I tend to use this a lot when I'm freestyling, just playing around with direction changes because stopping there is a lot more unexpected than stopping in the front like the other variations. All right, fifth and final one. This one you're taking a step ball change in the front and add that into your six step to have your direction change. Also, anyone that's seen cast the tutorial on eight ball six step, you'll recognize this one. So of course, you gotta pay homage to the footwork god, Casper, and put it in here. So we're gonna go six step, again, as always, and then right as we get back to our squat, we're gonna sweep our opposite leg into our monkey swing, but then stop right here, switching our hands, then you're gonna step this leg into your hook, here, and then you're gonna go squat, leaning your weight onto your right foot, then sweeping this leg again, leaning your weight right, sweeping left, six step, all the way around, and then when you get here, again, monkey swinging that leg out, hit, switching your hands, hooking behind, and squatting, and sweeping, and repeating. Try again, six step, and sweep, one, two, three, six step, and sweep, one, two, three, and six step, and one, two, three. So if you notice, when I start to do it quicker, I don't place my foot like this. I place it down here so that I can go in the direction my knee's gonna go, right? Because if I put it down flat and I step into it, I'm not gonna be able to bend it very well, you know what I mean? And then number two, when you're stepping into it, actually step, right? The further you go to the side, the nicer it's gonna look. Last one, when you're swinging your leg to the front, try and place this hand that's gonna come down further away from your body. Because the further you place it, further you can go, obviously, right? So then the more dynamic the movement's gonna look. Going from your squat, and one, two, three, four, five, six, sweep, step, one, two, three, four, five, six, sweep, step. So again, noticing toe hand, and around, and hit, and around. With that being said, you call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger, a willing and able to do what you want. That's all she wrote. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is just a basic tutorial. If you'd like an intermediate or advanced one, please comment down below. Let me know and I'll make that for you. Like, subscribe, and smash the bell button for more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Your boy out. Peace. Before you go, if you're not completely sick of my face already, don't forget to get my free course, Breaking Made Simple. To access the course, all you have to do is go to the link down below. To get the free download, all you have to do is join the Facebook group, Breaking Made Simple, which is a hub for people to learn, grow, and just get better and become the best b-boys they possibly can, man. And be good.